This is Jack cutting up the fat, the pork fat and beef tallow fat for our venison burger that we're packaging up today from, uh, is this your deer or my yes, deer? Yes, mine. Mrs. Jack's deer that she got in the fall during bow season. And then the beef jerky, I believe, is from my mine. deer. Nope, that's mine too. Oh, and hers too. <laughs> so that's marinating over there, and I'm going to smoke it on the, on the uh, pellet smoker. And there's uh, soy sauce, Worcestershire sire sauce. <laughs> uh, not pellet. soy sauce. So yeah. Do you put soy sauce in it? Oh, no, I'm sorry, not soy sauce. Teriyaki sauce. Right. Um, Maple two, syrup. Two tables, yep, maple syrup, four tablespoons of maple syrup. Uh, table, or, uh, yeah, a tablespoon, no, a teaspoon, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of pepper, pepper or no, one teaspoon of pepper, <laughs> and there was something else that was in there. You screwed that all up. I can't remember what it was. Uh, let me think here. What was that? No, that's it. That's about it, guys. It smells really good. It's going to taste awesome. Here, we bought this teriyaki sauce uh, down in our local grocery store, Connie's. Nice place. Geekleman. Yep, Geekleman. There's Louie, for those who are doing the puppy dog day. Oh, this has got to go in the fridge. So, so hang out with us while we get this ready to... Make some burger. Now the fat, we put in the fat so that there's fat in it because venison is really lean. So, and you don't want the uh, the venison fat in with it if you can because the venison fat, that's what makes it taste a little gamey. Um, and I think that's what a lot of people taste uh, because somebody didn't either make it right or they didn't butcher it right. So, I'm not making chicken meatloaf. And uh, yeah, she makes a very good kicking meatloaf with the Venice brown venison, brown. with the ground venison. So we're going to package it up in one pound packages, which Mrs. Jack's going to do. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jack is adding all the fat into the venison that he already ground it up and mixing it up and then he's going to re-ground it again. Yeah, re-grind it again. So it's good and mixed up here. But I'm going to take it from out of this bowl so we can get rid of this again. And, uh, yeah. And then you can come over on this side when I'm done mixing it up. He likes to tell me what to do. Well, you'll be able to see better. So, we'll go like this. And then what I'll do is I'll push this to the side if I can. Try to. Get a bunch up here. Now I'm going to run this through a couple times. Make sure it's good and mixed up. Get her started. see if you see that see how that's got the fat in it so we're going to grind that up again make sure it's all good and ground up <laughs> not ground up mixed i'm sorry <laughs>
if you notice how the fat's not kind of equally distributed through the the uh, ground up venison. So now we're going to run it through again <coughs> to make sure that it gets good and ground. Maybe even a uh, maybe even a third. Well, the four it'll be a four times. I ground the venison first, then we ground it, and then uh, yeah, this will be a third time. So. <coughs> Yep, so we're going to do that one more time. This also ensures that you get all the fat and stuff out of there. So, here we go. <laughs> So if you look, guys, how that fat's, you know, pretty much evenly distributed. Now it looks like burger that you buy at the grocery store, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So we're going to package that up. I might look up a uh, breakfast sausage recipe and maybe make half of this breakfast sausage. I don't know. I'm going to see what it entails to make first. So stick around and watch. All we got to do is break this down, the meat grinder and and stuff but it smells really good too okay everybody we got four a little over four pounds of ground venison done i packaged them up in one pound packages there's the scale and mr jack said we have three and a half pounds of jerky we will show you that process too in this video but um here's our food saver that we use it's our second one we use the other one so much i think we burned it out <laughs> but this is our second one and it works for us pretty good maybe someday we'll get one of those professional ones industrial right, ones but you but don't need a professional one. no you don't but we and use it quite a bit are quite a bit of money so. yes but uh stay tuned and we will show you the beef jerky um, cooking up.